Binoculars, no stinky. Jackrabbit collar, pheasant collar. One of the reasons that it's important to have the pheasant collar is because we'll actually want to kill pheasants, not necessarily for the fun of killing pheasants, but because the the um, the roosters make so much noise you can't hear the coyotes. But all right, if you pull up your map, basically if you if you look at uh, basically just south of dead east go all the way on the east side you'll see there's a campfire there yes yeah, it's right right by the power lines yes yeah, you're going to want to click the fast travel to that location it's going to cost three camping supplies so you want to make sure you got those before oh you're already on your way all right yeah. cool cool it's raining that's okay um the fact that the day didn't didn't start with rain at, at the camp means this should Quit fairly quickly. Ah, you're standing on my head. <laughs> I was wondering how I was up so. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the spot we're going to move to. There we go. So basically we're going to work kind of south towards that spot. We're going to move along carefully, and then from there we'll, we'll actually... Oh, there's oh, no... There's um, from there we'll, we'll actually uh, um, work upwards to the place where we're going to encounter a lot of a lot of mule deer and we're eventually going to encounter the rabbits but it's worth us starting here and heading down and then going up because there's a, a usually two to three packs of coyotes in this area we're going to pass through okay. to get to that many coyotes again we have to go halfway up the map so and there's there's a lot of big feral hogs through here as well so we do have to watch that. For some reason, the feral hogs really, really like the uh, the power lines. Yeah, I remember you saying that one other time. Yep, so. Straight, All straight, right. Straight, straight, Pull this straight. up. There we go. And. All right, so. We're going to head out, and we've got. Oh, a little ways to run before. Before we have to worry about crouch walking. Well, that's part of the reason why I wanted to, this. I'm going to take you by the exact same route that I took earlier today. And taking this route, I... Oh, Christ, there he is. What? Holy crap. He was turning. He was about to make that evil noise and charge us. I hit him. Now I'm going to have to track him. Darn it. But, yeah, we just... That, that's, why, that's why I wanted to run initially. <laughs> because they're they're so thick through here. He was a big one. Holy crap! Um, right. Yeah, I I come up and I shot, and I was sure I hit him solid. It's just I hit him just a bit farther back than uh, than normal. So oh, it, wow. it he is yeah, this this is one serious hog right here, bro. <laughs> and you're welcome to get in here if you want. Oh, you're wearing your swamp camel. Am I? That's not. Yeah, that's not good. All right. Well, we'll have to we'll have to take her careful, and when we get back over by the lodge, you'll have to switch over to your regular camel. All right. Because that's that's awesome in the swamps, but doesn't do us much good here. I suppose the last time you had a chance to hunt was when we were. Uh, whoa! Slow down. What's going on here? There we go. <clears throat> the last time you you got a chance to hunt probably was when we were duck hunting, huh? It was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you? That's probably your best shooting platform, number one. And number two, it's going to help you blend in. I keep grabbing the wrong one. <laughs> I keep going for the jackrabbit call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd confuse him. Here comes a coyote. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, okay, there he's this way. Yep, yeah, he's a whitetail. He is a white tail, and I'm I'm pointed right in the direction where he is. So he's right down there someplace. Yeah, I don't see he, him yet. But... So I'm gonna actually do a second shot of white tail scent. I'm gonna go prone. I'm gonna crawl up just a little ways, and I'm gonna drop some white tail scent so that it'll be of more interest than the mule deer scent. And hopefully we won't have a mule deer doe come in and <laughs> and molest our hunt here. So. Really? You know how they get. 
Oh yeah. There we go. And I'll give them a call from. I'll call a couple times from here. And then what I'll do is I'll crawl back because it's just like it is with the uh, with the foxes. They come to where the call is. Right. And maybe one more. Surprised we didn't see him because he was close. Yeah, he, well, he may he may have been in the process of trying to come up the side of this hill and flank us, and that's why I wanted to do the call from there because that way I can get up here and I can get faced this way, and if he tries to flank us, I can let you know. Oh, he's real there he was. Yep, there he was again. Oh, yeah. Yep, he sure is. He's right down the hill there someplace. There he is. He just He's topping the little rise straight ahead of you. Oh, he's a beautiful buck, Hawkeye. Oh, man, where, where but is you, he? I just, he's, he's literally right in front of me. Oh, dude, he he is going to score huge. I'm going, I can't go prone because I've got my binoculars up. Oh, I see him now. You better take him now because he's going to spot us any second. What did you just, oh. Oh, the the crossbow. Okay, <laughs> I was I thought that sounded like my my uh, and it sounded like my air rifle. I was like, what heck? Look at that rack. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take he's he's a, he, yeah he's 50 meters from me. I'd I'd 30 out six. There you go. I was gonna say I'd pull your 30 out six out and take him because he's he's gonna score just gorgeously. Of course, I just scared every he, coyote in the area out for miles. <laughs> that's all right, because we're not really in their prime area yet, oh, and they good. recover really fast. They're skittish, but they also recover very quickly. But I think he may end up being your personal best for Whitetail. Wow. Because he is gorgeous. I think he's either a 14-point or a 6-point. I mean, a 16-point. But that was a beautiful shot, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he's he is not your average critter there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so he's a he's a twelve point buck. Let's see. You want to get in here? Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm really, really curious what uh, what his score is. One forty-five. I don't know what that is. Oh well, that's that's actually not a real high score. He must he must not weigh much because it's a combination of their weight and their and their horns. But yeah, either way, that was that was a beautiful shot, man, and he's a beautiful buck. Okay, let's see. And that's you know that's another another one that counts for your for your thirty out six harvests. And your white tail harvest, so he's definitely nothing to sneeze at. I know, I know. Back home, if we if we'd have taken him, my old man would would be pounding me on the back and tell him offering me a beer. That's for sure. <laughs> Got him. All right. I'm gonna come on this side. Yep. Go ahead. Head up into the into the tower. I'm just gonna. I'm um, since I've got my camouflage on. I'm just gonna check the slope over here for coyote tracks. Seen much of anything, just mule deer. Yep. But basically, once you're up in the stand, I'm gonna get where you can look down and see me. See where I'm at? Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I see it. Got your point. All right. So, <laughs> so your range. The, the reason I chose this spot is because the range to you right now is 20 meters. Okay. okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my predator call, and I'm going to call like crazy for, for probably almost a full minute. And then I'm going to back up to the stand. But I wanted to make sure that that you got a nice 20-meter meter shot with your crossbow or your 30 out 6 And uh, I'm going to start calling here. Okay. Because that way I can get up there and watch the opposite side. And that way, if one starts coming in from the other direction, I'll spot him, and you and you can just come to the other side. Okay. I'm gonna call two or three more times, and then I'm gonna come up in the tower, because it'll be have been enough that if they're anywhere in the area, it should draw them. Unlike you know, if if we get a sound, it only takes two or three calls, like it does with the foxes. Yeah. But if you're trying to draw them in, you wanna you have good, lots of calls. Got it. I'll have to remember that. 
I'm looking off in the distance just to see if I can see anything, but I don't see yep. a thing. Well, basically, like I say, I'm going to get up on the tower now, and I'm going to get on the opposite side to watch. And that way, whichever way they come, if they're in the area, we'll spot them. And we'll give it we'll give it five to six minutes, and if we don't spot anything, we're not going to. So. Alrighty, so I'll watch over on this side, and we'll give it about five minutes and see if we spot anything. Alrighty. Alright, well there's no coyotes going to be coming in here, they'd, uh, they'd have arrived by now. Dang. So we'll, we'll hop down and head for the next spot. Get us our dot here. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is our next spot. It's going to be right about. And you probably be able to pull up the big map and, and see it. And if not, um, oh, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a fair ways up. It's a fair ways up. But we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to get our creep on and, and keep on moving. All right. And that'll take us away from that white tail as well, which is good. Because he's not worth whacking. But that first one, man, seeing his horns, I figured he was going to score way higher than that. I figured he was going to score in the 190s, you know? What's the... What's, I mean, what do you have to get in the 200s to get up on the leaderboard? Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you've got to be pushing, you know, 230, somewhere in there. Dang. But, you know, I figured he was going to be pushing a, a 190, but his weight was actually low. Yep, we got another white tile back be behind us. Yeah, I heard him. I heard him, I heard him. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep, I certainly did. You can, you, do you want to use your crossbow or your 30 odd six? I'll try my 30 odd. I mean, All right. Because this, is, this right here is almost dead on 30 meters. Yeah. Okay. Here, you're at the top of the hill. It is dead on 30 meters right here. I'm at 30 meters. Okay? okay, so it's your third mill dot on your crossbow or an easy shot with your 30 yacht. I'm going to start calling. I'm going to call twice crouching and I'm going to call twice standing and then I'm going to belly crawl back to you. All right. Because standing up, it actually reaches a little bit farther. Like I say, odds are is they'll come before I even manage to crawl back to you. You think? It, do you think I should use the crossbows? Just in case well, there's more if there's than more one. than one of them, you might get more than one shot. But, um, all right, I'm on my way back now. It's up to you. You're you're gonna wanna. I'm. Hopefully, I can make it back to you, and I can spot for you, and I can tell you if if there's multiple of them try to give you some idea of which one to take. You should be able to tell the males from females on spotting, but yeah. it probably won't give you any kind of weight or anything. Okay. But you keep your eyes peeled because the coyote will not pass up a free meal, and they're, if they're close enough for us to hear them on the hunter mate, they're, they're close coming. enough. Coming? They're coming. <laughs> How many are they? Oh, no, I said that's what is it. Oh, okay, all right. I thought you meant that you, that you no, could see no. them. Not yet. Stay out. But like I say, right next to the rock, that's the perfect 30 meter shot. And like I say, this is going to allow me to get up by you and keep an eye out so that if any happen to be off to one side or the other, because there's usually two or three packs of them in this area. Yeah. You know, if we if we end up with some coming in from another direction, I'll spot them. And if I can make this ridge before they get here, then I'm golden. They won't be able to see me. So. There's one. Shoot. All right. Just stay nice and still, and and I'm gonna come up, and I should be able to turn and see them, and we should be good. Oh, there he is. Beautiful shot. Now just hold still because there may be another coming in. Yeah, that's what I figured. Did he come from that direction, or did he come from a different direction? He came from the uh, right. 
actually walked in from the right. Okay. That means that the ones we heard up ahead, probably there's a chance they're still up there and on their way in. So just, he was a big one. He was beautiful. If that's a male, um, you may have just gotten one of one of your quest points fulfilled. But that's why I said, you know, I wanted to get back and be able to look because the odds are re well, real was, high that, it, that there's others in, in the area here. I was surprised because I was looking for them to come from the top in, and then he came out from the bottom of my scope and I was like what <laughs> well that's why I chose the belly crawl instead of crouch walk because like I say once once we get into coyote territory <laughs> oh Jesus that scared the crap out of me <laughs> when she sneezed <laughs> oh. <laughs> so odds are is that that one that that just came in yeah. was probably drawn towards our my original calling over by the stand he would he wasn't worried about it, which that's why I say that the odds are real high that he was drawn to my original calling over by the stand. Because if he'd have come in fresh, he'd have, he'd have, uh, usually they, they stop about 40 yards out and look for a little bit. That's why I wanted to get about 30 yards out. So that's where he'd stop and, and look, you know, yeah. give you a good shot. But yeah, I've got a, I've got a feeling that, that it's time to go down and collect him because that's our minute right there. And while you do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crouch, walk up to the ridge, and, and just double check, make sure there's not one hanging back there. Okay. And I, oh man, I really hope it's a male, and I hope he's big enough. That would be awesome to get your first one out of the way that quick. He's good size. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's the big one. Forty-seven point eight four three. I think he may be big enough. Yeah. Is it a male? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Twenty-one point seven kilograms. I shot him in the head, actually. All right. This is the track of the coyote that called. So basically, we'll know in just a second whether or not that's the one that we heard. I'm going to back off enough so I got I got the dome. And I'm also going to alt-tab and see what weight we actually have to have on these coyotes. Now, oh gosh, you know, I just thought about something there. What's that? It never even occurred to me, man. It's just we were, we were doing the stuff together, and it didn't even occur to me. Shoot. Sorry about that. Well, that's all right. It was still just... Beautiful shot, man. Don't don't you worry your head about it. Like I say, I get as much kick out of watching it. Yep, and that was indeed the one that we heard calls. I'll be darned. Add his track right up here, and when you finish your trophy shot, the track vanish. Well, then let's uh, let's make make our way back. But basically, now we don't have to worry about dots. You just follow the the lodge icon. It's basically when we get past these little hills that are just up here to our left that we'll have to be careful because if she's moving in this direction, that's where she'll pass. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. She's headed this way. I mean, right for me. Oh, yeah. Boy, I guess. She was coming right to you. You smacked her good. Yeah, you smacked her darn good. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the spot where we are so we can get back on, on the on the course where we were. I got but, some. When I shot at her, for some reason, at that one moment, it lagged a bit. So, well, I, it was like she came towards me and then she zipped off to the left, which is weird. Oh yeah, she she spun and ran like crazy. My feral track pit tracking skill went up. Nice. Yeah, that's that's a that's a body hit, but that's okay. We just have to keep a close eye out. Yep, she's up going still. And there she is, right down the hill. You can get your shot on her and finish her.
Yep, she's hurt good. I believe that's her. Yep, that's her. Punch it right there you go. I was gonna say punch it right through her shoulder. Beautiful shot. Yeah, I panicked the first time, which is why I didn't shoot her right. <laughs> I thought and she her was next... gonna get me. Yep. Oh, they're they're vicious. You know, the thing that's crazy about them is not only will they kill you, but they'll eat you. Yeah, I knew that. They're omnivorous, so I'll be interested to see what she scores because she could she could score as high as a six hundred. It it all depends. She's a lot bigger than she looked. 342. 342. Yep. Yep. That's why I figured she'd, she'd push somewhere around 360. All right. Well, this is a good moment for me to hit the can real quick while you get your while you get your uh, your shot. And, whoa! I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry. It's the wrong button. Took off at a dead run. All righty. I'll be right back. I see him now. You see him? Yep. Nice shot. I had my pistol on him just in case. But yeah, he's he's a nice bird. I think he's going to score well over a 22. There we go. Got my, my blood trail here. Twenty-three point four six. Yep, I figured he'd go above a twenty-two. He was a nice bird sight because if I could see him and he looked that big from this far out, I knew he was a good one. Oops. There. All right, I'm on this hog's trail. Yeah, he's an old tusker. His uh he's got some big tusks but they're but they're real worn down from use, so he's actually probably only gonna score in the six hundreds. <laughs> ah, seven hundred. Yep. Hit him hit him twice in the body. But man, he was on his way. No two ways about it. He he laid eyes on me and and literally was making a beeline for me, just like that that, that sow did for you. And I don't know what it is about the pigs on this map that they seem they seem aggressive, you know? I was gonna say, that's been like this 